Video is a very powerful tool to use in a Moodle course, allowing students, for example, to catch up on lectures they missed, learn from a how-to screencasts, or improve their language skills by watching native speakers interact. In a flipped class model, they are very useful to get the learners to be prepared on a topic before attending classes. The great thing about videos is that a feeling of one-on-one -on -one learning can be created with the student. In the lesson on adding web page resources, we had already seen how to embed a video into a added web page resource. With Moodle's new improved course page interface design, it has become incredibly easy to add videos into a course home page. And yet, after you add the video, your course home page will not look like a giant YouTube page because each of the videos will open in their own page that is created automatically by Moodle. I will show how easy it is by creating some video lectures in my course home page. All I have to do is locate my videos and directly drag and drop them into Moodle's course page. And all the rest is handled by Moodle. Fantastic. I have four videos that need to be added to my section and I will do that now. And you can see how effortlessly Moodle handles these media files. A note of caution. The video file size that you can upload will be limited by your system administrator. So first go ahead and try to upload the video. If you get an error message, then contact your system admin. If you do have admin access and you are getting video file size restrictions, then open up your php.ini file and increase the value on the variable upload max file size and post max size. Then do not forget to restart the Apache web server. Okay, all my four videos have now been uploaded, but I want to change the default names that Moodle has taken for them. That is the file name itself. I can change that by clicking the tiny pen icon next to the name directly changing the name. I just have to press enter when finished. So I have changed the name and I will do that for all the remaining video lectures later after this lesson. If you are going to be producing videos for your students, I suggest you get a little familiar with different video formats, file sizes, etc. This is because you should strive to produce the highest quality in as minimal file size as possible to make it easy for learners bandwidth and data requirements. Video learning is the direction of the future as you are well aware and I would highly recommend you adding video elements to any course and you have seen how easy Moodle makes it.